Hey guys, it's Steve John. Welcome to day three of the 21 Day Fast. I have a special guest here with me, uh, Jen C. James. She is a great friend of mine. She is uh, an incredible friend, but an anointed and powerful worship leader um, as well. And I asked her to come uh, sing along with me for the song of the day, uh, which is Love Came Down by Brian Johnson. Uh, he comes out of Bethel Church. Uh, it's an incredible song about how love came down and rescued me, even though I may not feel it all the time. Uh, your love came down and set me free. Um, it's an amazing song, and we have a special treat for you. Um, at the end of this, you'll hear a our rendition of this song, um, and hopefully it will be um, an inspiration to you, and, and hopefully it will bless you. Um, but I asked Jency to you know share a few minutes um, about what's been on her heart and what God's been telling her. Um, so Jency, go ahead. Let them hear what you have to say. Um, I just wanted to say that I'm sure when everybody goes through fasting and does fasting, a popular chapter that they come to is always Isaiah 58. And I just wanted to remind you guys that during fasting, it's not just about, you know, uh, it says in the Bible, like putting on the burlap sack and proclaiming to everyone that you're fasting. It's also about helping the needy and the oppressed and whoever is coming to you for help, do not like not turning them away. So that is the kind of fasting that God wants. And just, I encourage you to read Isaiah 58 and just learn more about that true fasting and true worship. Yeah, Isaiah 58 is a, is a very powerful chapter, um, especially about fasting and about how, you know, this is a fast of to tear down strongholds and everything else. Uh, you never know the people that are around you, um, what they're going through, whether mm -hmm. it be your coworkers, your friends, or even uh, close family members. Um, but through that fasting, they'll see that you're gaining spiritual strength and stuff. Um, personally, in my life, um, especially over these past three days, uh, God, has def God has definitely been opening a lot of doors for me um, at work to minister to a lot of my coworkers, uh, what, whatever they're struggling with and going through. Um, God's really just given me an avenue uh, to speak with them. And, and definitely, I believe that fasting has given me more of encouragement uh, and more strength to um, let them know, hey, I'm with you, I'm praying for you, and I believe with you. Um, so just like Jensi said, that's a great, that's a great word. Uh, read Isaiah 58, um, and, and if you need to post it on your wall um, and remind yourself every single day or on your bathroom mirror, whatever it takes to remind yourself of why you're doing this fast um, is, is great. And, and don't turn away those that need help um, because you never know. Because in the Bible it says that uh, we entertain angels unknowingly. Um, and so we never know that the person that we help is actually an angel in disguise. Um, but like I said, we have a special treat for you. Um, hopefully you'll be blessed by this song, and this will encourage you to stay uh, with your fast. But until next time, God bless, and thank you so much for tuning in. Bye.
Thank you.